Inflation is rising prices for nearly every product used on a day-to-day -day basis. Various industries are being hit hard as a result. That ranges from farm workers to construction workers and the average person. So how can you keep the budget on track when the price of necessities are out of your control? Amel Elhel spoke to the Better Business Bureau to get those tips for you. Prices are on the rise for nearly all of our day-to-day -day goods, something Melanie McGovern with the Better Business Bureau says is a symptom of the pandemic. With everything that went on in the last couple of years, that inflation was just going to happen. And, you know, we're paying a lot more for gas, groceries, everything. The price of everything has gone up. And as a result, McGovern says consumers are feeling the pain. As far as gas, is crazy. The one I've noticed the most is eggs. Uh, we eat eggs a lot in my household. And uh, I feel like they've doubled in price and just everyday groceries you know we're pretty much Wegmans people so uh, we kind of go for the Wegmans brand a lot now so if you can't avoid buying everyday goods like eggs or gas what can you do to cut yourself a little bit of a break well the number one thing is take a look at your budget from 2021 and see if there's anywhere you can make cuts. Maybe it's cutting down on some of the streaming services you signed up for during the pandemic, or maybe it's holding off on buying something new. If you don't need a new car or a used car, you know, wait a little bit. McGovern adds, if you see something for a good price, grab it while you can. But be wary that if the sale is online, scammers know you're looking for that discount. You know, you want to make sure, again, when you're spending money, because, you know, everybody's kind of cutting back on a lot of things right now, that you're not going to lose that money at the end of the day for a product that's never going to arrive. And while this stretch of high prices rains on, just remember there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just hang in there, and I think if we if we kind of pool our resources and come together, we help each other. Reporting in Rochester, Amel Elhel, News 8. Amel, thank you. Experts say the Inflation Reduction Act recently signed into law will not directly address the main drivers of the surging prices, but it will lessen the cost of things like prescription drugs and energy prices.